Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're exploring a recent fishing trend known as quishing, which has been gaining momentum since roughly mid-autumn 2023. We'll show how any run can be a powerful tool for analyzing quishing campaigns. Let's jump into it. So what is quishing? Quishing is a method where attackers embed malicious links in QR codes instead of directly sending them to the victim in, let's say, an email. They do this mostly for two reasons. One, technical benefit. Embedding links in QR codes can bypass some automated detection systems. Not all solutions can process and extract content from QR codes. But spoiler alert, any run can, as we'll see in this video. Two, psychological aspect. We generally perceive QR codes as something that's pretty safe. We see them every day in restaurant menus, in payment apps, use them to add new friends in our favorite messengers. Especially during the pandemic, we got used to seeing them everywhere. So when you encounter a QR code today, you don't go, oh no, run, it will steal my credentials. It will encrypt my files. Attackers certainly exploit this. Here at AnyRun, we've been tracking a significant number of phishing-related submissions, about 1,500 to 2,000 public ones per week. They curiously peak at about 500 submissions on Fridays and subside at weekends, targeting people when they're tired, perhaps. You can find all of these in AnyRun's public submissions. Just search for the tag phishing. If you want to see all those with QR codes, the tag is QR code. But for our demonstration, we will analyze a sample email, which I pre-selected it. Let's start by running a task here. And leaving everything as is in configuration is fine for this task. It probably won't come as a surprise to you that any run is an interactive sandbox, which means you can engage directly with the virtual machine in your web browser. And here, we can start doing interacting with the email client to progress the task forward. We're going to open this attachment over here, and voila, we have ourselves a QR code. Let's see what it contains. We'll go to the Files tab, and we'll find the QR code, which is in this image at the bottom. What's cool is that any run will decipher the QR code content and extract the embedded link, even if it's inside of plain text string. You could copy this link and take it out of any run, but there's a better way. We're going to continue here in any run, and first, Let's close this current task because you can have more than one task running at a time. Awesome. Back in the Files tab, we're going to open the image again. And here at the top of the static discovering module, we have a submit to analyze button. It's going to launch a new task. And in this case, is going to open the link in a new browser tab. This makes it very, very easy to extract the content of the QR codes and analyze them directly in any run. In our example, after launching a task with the extracted link, we encounter a capture from Cloudflare. This is another clever trick that attackers are using more and more commonly, which is they hide malicious content behind legitimate security products to stop automated solutions from accessing it. But AnyRuns is an interactive sandbox, so it's very easy for us to bypass it. Especially, all we do is click this checkbox. Looks like in this case, the website has already been taken down by Cloudflare, so it has off to them for this. But by triggered rules, we can see that it was indeed a phishing attempt, and it confirms a high possibility of social engineering. As you can see, it literally takes just a few seconds to analyze pretty complicated phishing campaigns in any run, which automated software might struggle with. And of course, you can safely engage with malicious content from the security of an isolated cloud environment. Are you interested in learning more about what any run can do? Because we've just barely scratched the surface in this video. If you have any suggestions or requests, make sure to leave a comment. If you liked the video, give us a like. If you didn't, a dislike and we'll see you in the next one.